events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth and Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. I'm Donna Davis and we're from Clinton, South Carolina. Are you ready for a fun and entertaining show? It's time for Carolina and Company Live. And now here's Amanda and Cecil. All right, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is a, that was a great pump up for the show, wasn't it? Yeah. Man, we got a great show lined up today. I think I'm getting married again to somebody here in a <laughs> wedding dress. You know, you never know on this show what's going to happen. I don't think you're, good. you're not, not getting married again. I have not told Deborah, so I've oh, been not. Okay. Goodness. All right, I just want to. <laughs> you know someone's going to go tell her that. Yeah, somebody will say we're joking married. about it again. <laughs> We do have a fun show for you, and we're doing a giveaway today, and we're giving away tickets to The Taste in Florence Ooh. and more. So yeah, that's going to be good. I'm going to be a judge there eating all the food, too. Plus, we got some other stuff to give away. Surf water promotion. We've got a T-shirt, water bottle, and a coffee mug. Everybody's been off about the coffee mug, so we got them back. That's right. And I need coffee in the morning, so I'm drinking my coffee every <laughs> morning. I did some fun stuff this morning. We'll talk about that soon, but first, let's check on the weather. Did we get a shot of that morning? He didn't punch it. Tell you what, it is a beautiful day out there. How about this live view from your Surfside Pier camera? Just a few fair weather clouds. A lot of folks down enjoying this nice weather, albeit a little cool. There may actually be a warm breeze off the ocean because the ocean temps are actually warmer than the air temps out there right now down by the beach. Myrtle Beach coming in at 77 right along with Conway and Marion. Florence at 78. Georgetown and North Myrtle Beach at 79 degrees. The humidity is nice and low for you. There's a nice fall feel in the air and look at all of this dry air that's in place across the southeast. The tropical moisture that's down in Florida. That's where it can stay for a little while as we will enjoy this uh, Canadian ridge of high pressure that's supplying in that cooler and drier air for this week, at least the first half of the week. As we go towards the end of the week, that high will gradually drift its way to the southeast. So this relatively speaking cooler air, which will be more so noticeable in the mornings, will well, turn back to those humid conditions or at least a little bit of a muggier afternoon by the time we get into your Friday and the upcoming weekend. But all in all, as we go through the week ahead, the humidity is still staying fairly low for us. Plenty of sunshine and dry conditions are on tap for us. So this afternoon, mostly sunny and warm. Again, not too humid. Highs around 83 to 84 degrees. Some of us have pretty far to go to get there. So there may be some spots that stay closer to the low end of the 80s for the rest of the afternoon. Now be prepared for the next few mornings for that fall feel. Dare I say it may be a little chilly for some of you who've been getting used to these 70s for wake up temperatures and mid 70s at that. We're talking more low 60s by the beaches. Highs still in the low 80s. By the end of the week and the weekend, the temps are back on the rise for the morning numbers. Afternoon to highs, though, still in the mid 80s. Rain chances slim to none until we head into the upcoming weekend. We could see a slight chance of a shower by Sunday. Inlet areas, you'll be in the low to mid 80s, more so mid 80s from tomorrow onward. Wake up temps, though, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday morning will be down to the upper 50s. A little crisp, uh, crisp start right there until we get into the upcoming weekend. Look for mid to low 60s. All in all, almost a perfect seven day forecast. If you ask me. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Now I have to say Cecil was laughing at me because he asked if I was cold this morning. And <laughs> I was very cold. I walked out of the house and thought, oh, I need a coat. <laughs> and by the time the winter gets here, she'll be wearing long john underwear. Bro. You betcha. Yeah. I cannot believe you. Yeah, I'm going to miss that warm weather. Um, this morning, though, I was at the OD Pavilion in North Myrtle Beach learning to shag dance. H. Lee. Lee showing your That's little right. moves there. That's right, yeah. Well. He's worldwide known for his shagging abilities. So He's unbelievable. I felt privileged to dance with him. But, uh, but yeah, SOS starts on Friday, and, of course, they'll be doing the shag dance up there in North Myrtle Beach for yes. about 10 days. SOS Fall Migration will be happening. All the great groups up there will be playing. All right, today's Monday, September 10th, and this is So Be It Day. So Be, so it. be it. Okay, and it's also National Boss Exchange Day. Boss Exchange. I don't want to exchange ours. Good, that's been a good too thing good to, to us, yeah. yeah. Birthday is 1922. Sid Caesar, this guy is 90 years old, a comedian, played coach in Greece 1 and Greece 2. All right, 1971, Brooks Burke, 41. She's the host of the uh, network, uh, the E Network Travel Log series. <clears throat> you remember Wild On? Well, oh yeah, that, Wild right? On E. 1981, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. This guy's 31 years old. TV's Home Improvements, and also Tim Allen's son on the show. Now he has grown up. How about that? Now on this day in history, it was 1847. The first theater opens in Honolulu, Hawaii. 
1953, Swanson sells its first TV dinner. 1955, Gunsmoke premieres on TV and is still in reruns today. All righty, here we go from the Know-It-All Department. Are you ready, Amanda? I am ready. All right, what nickname did Thomas Edison give to his first two kids, Marion and Thomas Jr.? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> Dot and Dash. Dot and Dash, okay. That was in honor of the telegraph. Yeah, of course. Dot, come here, Dot. Come here, Dash. <laughs> Dot and Dash. How about that? You learn something every day on this show. And that's from the Know-It-All Department today. There we go. You do, do learn something new every day. <laughs> All right. Do, and hopefully we? you are learning something new and winning something. What are we giving away today, Cecil? All right. We're giving away a T-shirt, a coffee mug, and a water bottle, plus two tickets to... The taste, the taste of, of Florence. Florence. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there judging that. that. So all you got to do is listen up. And uh, you saw Amanda a minute ago cutting a little rug, right? That's right. Go Tell to them what to do. Go to our Facebook page, Amanda Cecil Carolina. Go over to that Send Message button. Click on it and answer this question right here. During SOS, which starts on Friday, what dance do people do? What will they d be doing up there That's in right. North I'll give Myrtle you another Beach. hint. It's also the state dance. The state How about that? That's right. That's All a good right. hint. <laughs> All right. Now, before we go to break, we want to talk about what's coming up next on WPDE at 1 p.m. You can watch the 2, 2 p.m. General Hospital and 3 p.m. The Jeff Probst Show premieres three stories about people who said, I'm an inspirational story you won't forget. That's right. 4 p.m. Judge Judy, 5 p.m. Dr. Oz. And tonight. 7.30, you got to check out Entertainment Tonight. 8 p.m. The Bachelor Pad two-hour season finale. Buckle your seatbelts for the most shocking finale in the Bachelor Pad history as the final two cu couples return to face their former housemates who will vote to decide which couple will advance to the final round? And win $250,000. 10 p.m., you've got Castle. That's right. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., Rachel Ray. 10 a.m., The Ricky Lake Show. Suzanne Summers reveals anti-aging secrets as premiere week continues on The Ricky Lake Show. And at 11 a.m., The View. And at 12 noon, of course, Carolina and Company Live. Yes. Right here on ABC. We'll see you then. And now, here's your deal and Bloomberg report. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Caring in our lifetime. That's a big deal. That's right. And there is a fashion show coming up, and it benefits caring in our lifetime. Susan Brandstrom is here to talk a little bit about it. We're getting closer. Yes, we're getting excited. <laughs> All the flutter. Um, Couture for the Cure, which is sponsored by the Little White Dress, or put on by the Little White Dress, is um, actually chosen us, Caring in Our Lifetime, which we help men and women in Orion, Georgetown County, that have been diagnosed with breast cancer, and they have chosen us for their proceeds this year for their uh, French Affair Tea. Uh, it will be October 28th at 2.30 at the Dunes Beach and Golf Club, and tickets will be on sale through the Little White Dress, which is in Rainbow Harbor around 50th Avenue, and tickets go fast, so make sure you get your tickets. They're $40, or you can get a table of 10 for $325. So come on and get your tickets and support the little white dress. We're going to be showing all your most recent bridal gowns. And um, we'll have models of honor that uh, are previous or <laughs> breast cancer survivors. I shouldn't say previous breast cancer survivors. <laughs> I am well, one of those. Speaking of models of honor, you are one stand up. Oh, so stand up and see what you got. Oh, my. Oh, yes. You are wearing. Yes, this is one of their... Um, Couture dresses that, of course, could be for special occasion, uh, mother of the bride, um, you know, anything that uh, they have all kinds of things to choose from. And, of course, they'll be featuring their latest and greatest uh, bridal couture bridal in the fashion gowns. show. So, so let's so bring in our right. beautiful bride Come that we in. have yes. here on the show today. Take a look at this dress. It is absolutely stunning. Now, the little white dress has amazing dresses, and this will be such a good opportunity for people to kind of see a sampling of what they it, have. It's very exciting. And let me just mention the models of honor um, that will be modeling the special occasion dresses are breast cancer survivors, and they will be telling their stories and their, um, you know, all their woes. And, and it's, it's very, it's very it's a lot of fun. All right, um, it's all coming up too. Now, the date on it? October 28th, 2:30, right. uh, Dunes Beach and Golf Club in Myrtle Beach, and get your tickets fast. 
Oh, That's right. right. Thank That's you guys so call. much. You, you look, look great. Wonderful. Well, thank you. Y'all both do. Check it out. <laughs> All for caring in our lifetime. Stick with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. It's time now to give away the tickets to the Taste of Florence. And congratulations to Kimber Souls. I was dancing the shag this morning. Shag is dancing during SOS. And you get to go to the Taste of Florence. And we're going to talk about that now. That's right. It's all coming up. The annual Taste of Florence. And it's coming up October 16th at Florence Civic Center mm -hmm. from 5 until 9 p.m. And we've got Jennifer and Rosalind with us. Now, Jennifer, this is a big deal. It's getting bigger and bigger. Last year was your it first is. one. Last year was our first one. We outgrew our venue in one year. So we're moving it from the ballroom to the arena. We're very excited That's to great. be able to offer more vendors, more space, more sitting areas so people can sit and enjoy the event. Um, entertainment, it's it's grown. And we can't believe how fast it grew in just one year. Well, last year was real tight in the little area you were in. That's so right. So, so this year is going to be a, it's going to be a lot better, right, Rob? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So we'll be able to have a lot more people come through. And um, the tickets are $5 in advance and $6 at the door. And as people come in, they will be able to purchase food tickets once they are in the event. Oh, that's good. She's got a mm. good southern accent. That's I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's too. what that is. Now, this, some of the rest, how many restaurants do we have so far? So far, we have 55 food stands wow. with space for mm -hmm. 60. So we anticipate a full oh, wow. house. Oh, wow. And we're talking great. about all the restaurants in the Florence area that you're thinking about that you want to go try. Absolutely. This is the best place that's to right. come to. Come to this. Taste it, and then you can say, wow, that's good. I think I'll go to that restaurant and eat. Absolutely. That's right. And we're also, what we started last year is we're selling um, to-go boxes for one ticket, and then you can go around again and fill up a to-go box if you get oh, full. Hey, that, that is pretty good. Next day. So mm -hmm. that means when Cecil goes there to I be a judge, he food. can bring me back a couple <laughs> boxes. <laughs> boxes. <laughs> to -go boxes. He doesn't bring yeah. anything back. You know, uh -oh. it's not because we <laughs> I probably <laughs> ate it on I'm the way home. I'm holding you to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is amazing, though. Yeah. That's amazing. And, and, you know, what if you outgrow it this year? What are you going to do? Oh my goodness, <laughs> so we'll just have to have a two-night event, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's a good I problem. Don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. a good problem to that's have. Problem. Uh, yeah, we'll figure that out when we get there. But so far, um, it just looks like a growing year. 3,500 people came through last year. We're expecting at least 5,000 this year. So uh, I think the arena can hold that many. We're so looking you forward to it. You still can hold how many more? How many more you need right now? Yeah, right five now, more we need vendors. five more. Five, five more, vendors. more. Okay, so yes. if they want to come into it. All right, that Absolutely. sounds great. And we do, you know, I have several people that have given us a voice commitment, you know, and a verbal commitment saying, yeah, we're on board, but until they get the check for the booth in mm -hmm. hand, I can't, I can't claim it. So the first five that get to me, those are the they ones get that in. they get in. So it. how do people right. get tickets to the event? They can show up at the door or they can get them beforehand. Tell That's them one correct. more time how to get that. Where? They can purchase it at Stripe mm -hmm. It, Signs and Designs on Palmetto Street. You can purchase them at Owen Ship's Bookstore located on St. Andrew's Road in Florence. Um, that's right off of Pine Needles. Okay. And you can also get them at right. Pro of Florence and Darlington County on Pisgah Road. One thing we do want to say is QVC is being sponsored this year. By, really? By okay. Um, um, QVC, I'm sorry, is sponsoring Harvest Hope this year. And so we, we're challenging all of our guests to bring a canned item so they can help. So that's that would be great. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you all so much for being with Taste. us. A lot more Thank coming you up. you got to stay with us. We'll be right back. There's all of it. Taste of Florence Civic Center, October 16th, 5 to 9. Be there. TasteofFlorence.org. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. You know, an important part of living along the Grand Strand is keeping the beach clean. Clean Sweep is coming up. That's right. The beaches are beautiful. We need to keep them that way, and we need people's help to keep them that way. Ann Wilson with us from the Myrtle Beach State Park. Talk a little bit about Beach Sweep. So Beach Sweep or River Sweep is an annual international event. It's been going on for, gosh, for well over 20 years. And... Um, it's always the third Saturday in September from 9 a.m. till noon, and any, everyone can go out to their favorite beach, their favorite river, and just get out there and make a difference in a couple of hours. Everybody can make a difference. It's, a, it's a, amazing the amount of trash that we pick up year in and year out. Yeah, well, it's sad that that much trash is left there, you know? Yeah, and like we have our sea tour volunteers at the state park. They're picking up trash every day, and so we're still going to have trash. You know, it's an ongoing thing that whether you're a visitor or a resident, you know, it's really all of our jobs to help keep the beach clean for us, but also for wildlife. To give you an idea, like last year in two hours at Myrtle Beach State Park, um, volunteers picked up well over 600 recyclable items, you know, cans, um, plastic bottles, glass bottles. I mean, that, that's, that's just in two hours. Um, we also picked up almost 9,000 cigarette butts last year in two hours, which actually is a low number for us. That well, bothers, that's years. what bothers me yeah. right there. People smoking, just throwing their cigarettes out of a car on the beach. There's no sense in that. It adds up. One year, we had a record high 24,000 cigarettes. And there are plenty of, of responsible 000? cigarette smokers, but there's, we still need to step it up and do a better job. Because yeah. wildlife can eat this stuff and oh, can yeah. kill them. It's terrible. That's bad. Now, y'all having a big drive right there. You'll have people that come to we the park. We usually have over 150 people come out, and we are really grateful for that because we... 
even though we're constantly cleaning up, there's still more to, to do. But you know, if you don't, if, if Myrtle Beach State Park is not your favorite beach, just go to your favorite beach and pick up trash. And you'll be filling out data cards. And so we have an idea of how much trash is out there and who we need to target. So you don't have to sign up to do this. You can just, no, you can go just there. show up. What time? Mm -hmm. What time? Um, 9 a.m. at Myrtle Beach State Park. Also, you could go to um, Beach Sweep Sea Grant, uh, go to the Sea Grant website, and it'll yeah. just, just Google Myrtle Beach or um, Beach Sweep. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of different captains all over the Grand Strand um, right. who are in charge of different beaches. All right. Okay. Thanks, Ann. Thanks for being sure. with us today. We appreciate it. You yeah. bet. And a reminder, when you go to the beach, don't litter. And pick and up and trash. Pick up and pick up somebody else's trash, else. too. Yes, that helps. <laughs> <laughs> so do. All right. Be sure to check out the Beach Sweep and keep our beaches clean. Stick with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Now we are talking about a blood drive coming up. That's right. At the Darlington Raceway, this is their seventh annual blood drive. It's one of the biggest they have in the area. They collected about 150 pints of blood, and that's a big deal. Dennis Warden, the PR director over at Darlington Raceway with us. Dennis, how you doing, buddy? Good. Glad to be here. Thank you ah, for having me. It's good out. to be here. You got moved down and settled in now, right? Yeah. We got moved into a house in Florence a few weeks ago, and things are starting to finally get settled in for me down there. So it's going good. So All right. we're doing a lot of good things. That's good. Now let's talk about the big blood drive that's coming up at Raceway. Yep. Tomorrow, we're honoring the tragedies of uh, and you know the victims of 9-11 like we've done every year for the past seven years and we're going to be hosting a blood drive from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow and it is the PD's largest uh, blood drive for the year so we collected 100 almost 150 units of blood last year and looking forward to hopefully getting that number or more this year so uh, we're encouraging everybody to sign up and be a part of a great wonderful day. Now the big deal about this if if you donate blood you get to drive your car around the racetrack. Yep, that's something that we're doing this year. We gave pace car rides in the past, but this right. year we're actually, if you donate a pint of blood, you get a nice little goodie bag with all sorts of race stuff in it and Red Cross stuff in it, and then you get to actually take your car out on the track for a few laps uh, at the famed Darlington Raceway. So How pretty cool neat is that? Deal. Yeah. Now, back in the 60s, they used to open the track to get rubber put on the track. I used to drive out a set of tires out there one time. But uh, this, <laughs> it, no, you're not going to be able to run 100 miles an hour, no, but you're getting to take a lap around the raceway, and well, that's pretty big. It gives the fans an idea of what it feels like to be up on the high banks, you know, 25-degree banking in those turns, and, and all you got to do is give a pint of blood. So it's a, it's a really good idea. A great cause, you know, and be able to come out and celebrate and honor these tragedies of 9-11. I can't believe it's been 11 years already yeah. since 9-11 happened. So uh, we're doing our part, and uh, we've had, we have over 100 sign-ups so far, and hopefully wow. we'll get a few more between now and tomorrow. And, and we also have walk-ups available if you just want to come in the day of the event tomorrow and just uh, give blood. We'll, we'll take any last pint that we can get. So. What time right. does this all go on? It goes 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. tomorrow. So if you want to sign up, red crossblood.org. Um, you can go and make an appointment and there's a sponsor code just put in Darlington Raceway and you can enter in and get your appointment today yeah. and uh, get in in advance. Uh, my wife and I are signed up for 1245 tomorrow so we'll be giving and uh, if you okay. can't do it in advance then then just show up the day of the event tomorrow and uh, have a good we time. With it, so. right. We appreciate it. Now you is there a speed limit when you're going around the track? Yeah, it's going to be a control. Yeah, you got to have a speed limit yeah. down. Yeah. Don't let Bridget go out there. Yeah. yeah, Bridget drives. You know, she might drive a little fast. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for Thank being with so us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. So Check it out tomorrow at the Darlington right. Raceway. I want to talk about something real quick here. Chicken bog dinner coming up September 14th this weekend. Fireman's Rescue Squad. Uh, it's uh, sponsored by Amber Smothers, prepared for Buddy Brown. It's, he made it. It's to help somebody. Wayne Smothers Liver Transplant. They're doing it over there at the Fireman's Rescue Squad in Darlington. And uh, go by and support them this, this Saturday. And don't forget, tomorrow we'll be at Dead Dog Saloon for the Local Heroes benefit going on there. Thank you so much for joining us. We will see you tomorrow at noon. Have a good one.